In 2016, our Kelloland News investigation uncovered how a serious worker shortage and issues with management led to major turnover and injuries among employees at the South Dakota Development Center. Now, three years later, despite new management and the workers unionizing, the problems seem to continue. Kelloland's Angela Kennecke joins us now with an update on the home for people with severe developmental disabilities. Well, the employee turnover rate for the last year for the center in Redfield was more than 23 percent, although the state says in the first few weeks of 2019 it's getting better. But there are still nearly 50 open positions, and that's about the same as in 2016. The problem is when the center is short-staffed, that can create dangerous situations, especially with people who are highly behavioral. Whitney Dieterman experienced that when she was attacked by a young man while on the job at SDDC. He pulled my hair. Um, I was kicked multiple times. Um, he punched me multiple times. Uh, I couldn't see out of my left eye for two, for two days. Um, I have a herniated disc and a cracked vertebrae. But it's what happened after that attack that has the union that represents Dieterman and other workers filing a charge of unfair labor practices with the South Dakota Department of Labor. We'll look into what happened at SDDC tonight on Eye on Kelloland at 10. All right. Thanks, Angela.